Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 takes us to the 5th. 10th of June. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended CFS and ECF ensembles. Maybe we'll just round a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the second half of June. I'll get on that for you in a moment to save up the first video of CFS and 6 of UK weather forecast. We've also released the final season one round of summer 25 and been channel member exclusive ECM WF for two day just to channel members. Check out all of the content. Like, share, subscribe. All about good stuff. Thanks so much everyone for doing that right, let's crack on then. So, let's start off with the latest group of Matt from Earth, no school.net. Showing that low pressure dominates to Western Scotland, and we bring in this uh, westerly flow. Central England temperature is currently sitting at 12.9, that's 1.8 degree above a 61 to 9 tiny average. The visual to the 29th for bear. I think that's going to finish up above or at or above 13 degrees. Very warm spring, of course. 7.9. 9 for March, over 2 degrees above average, 10.9 for April, uh, around 3 degrees above average, and then we're going to be a couple of degrees above average, so probably about 13. A point zero for May. Really, really warm spring. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks, we're going to London today. Red line is the 30 year upper air temperature. Actual London starting off above average with the upper air temperature at the moment. They're going to be coming down though as we go into uh, next week. Actually, going slightly cooler than average, but we'll feel presently warm in the sunshine. Warming trend perhaps through the second week of June. Precipitation wise, quite a bit of dry weather around the middle of next week. Then we've got some uh, rain to come later next week before it perhaps turns drier again for a while into the second week of June. Temperature normally is next five days up to Thursday the 5th, coming out a bit cooler average in the north and west, near normal, slightly above in the south and in the east. 6 to 10 day, temperature normally again about average, a bit below in the uh, north and the west. So 10 to 14 day, uh, slightly above average in most places. Uh, seven day precipitation anomaly up to the 7th of June, significantly wetter than average in the north and the west, uh, dry than average in the southeastern corner. 8 to 14 day comes out driving and average in most places, just west of Scotland, a little bit uh, wetter than normal. Right, let's start going from chart day to then. This uh, starting off with UK Met Euro run for Tuesday, midnight Tuesday, 3rd of June. Low pressure, bring wet and windy weather in off the Atlantic. Further low pressure to come through next week as well, looking unsettled up to next weekend. Gets a Saturday percent for June. Low pressure is over the top of the country. Icon again, looking rather wet, windy. Uh, midnight on Tuesday, then showering the middle part of next week for the next low so it starts heading in uh, towards the end next week. I could bring some wetter weather perhaps down in the south Thursday into Friday and the low pressures just keep on coming to next weekend. So this first week of June is shaping up to be unsettled especially later on with some much needed and welcome rainfall, further rainfall. Um, KMA uh, again looking rather mixed and unsettled through uh, next week low pressure is in control. Do we get a break in second week of June where the uh, Zor side tried to build up the south from the southwest there uh, around day nine and ten? Looks pretty brief though, and then low pressure's back in uh, by the 12th of June, bringing further wet and windy weather with it. What about the GFS midnight run? Again, that's looking unsettled with showers and longer spells of rain uh, piling in from off the Atlantic uh, through up to day 10. Low pressures in the ascendancy. A break uh, beyond day 10, though. We're at uh, the 12th of June now. High pressure beginning to build up for the uh, Azores. That's turning things drier and warmer, but only briefly. And then low pressures back in again uh, in the very extended. Before the ridge builds more. Uh, by the middle of the month, that gets 16th of June, glorious 16th, uh, with uh, high pressure ridging up from the southwest, mostly dry and warm to end that GFS midnight run. And the GFS 6 then, by comparison, well, again, looks unsettled in the week here with more wet weather to come. 
especially later on in the week. Around days 8, 9, 10, high pressure begins to strengthen over to the south and east country, starting to bring up some uh, warmth from the uh, from the south. Um, and the high pressure, well, it gradually strengthens, and the warmth bring expands northwards across Europe. So that's how the upper air temperature is looking by the 13th of June, Friday the 13th. Very warm across most parts of uh, Europe, if not quite hot. Um, much more anti-cyclonic influence, I think, with GFS 6 then till the end. And then we've got this uh, trough out to the west. That would perhaps bring a thundery breakdown. Well, if you enjoyed the video, if you can like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. And uh, why not drop a comment? Let's say what you think about this. All our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about the house. Obviously, get me to subscribe too. So, thank you everyone for doing that. Around 15, one by subscribers gets us to. 19.8k so you could give yourself up be amazing and also thank you so much right yeah again looking unsettled through uh next week with low pressure never far away up to next weekend uh that gets out of the way though as head towards day 10 below begins to move out to the east and reach building out to west could that herald uh change into second week of june something a bit drier Maybe. And maybe ECM uh, rounding it all off again looks unsettled through next week. Low pressure bringing bouts of rain in with it up to day 9 and 10 with low pressure dominated. That's the 10th of June. Beyond that, a change. High pressure building by the 11th, bringing drier, warmer weather. And then the East End really starts to go to town with that area of high pressure. Doesn't set up anything particularly hot, but does turn much drier and much warmer with high pressure taking over through the second week and up to the middle of June. So this looks like We've, it looks like we've got a trend here, doesn't it? Like the first week of June is unsettled. Second week of June sees a significant change potentially to uh, back to high pressure again. This was a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run up to day 10 from Tibetan.com. So uh, wet weather is in the ascendancy through the course of next week's showers and or long spells of rain. That looks quite wet in the middle part of next week with that area of uh, low pressure. 5th of June, um, and the shower conditions keep on coming all the way up to day 10. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Guests to the 10th of June, 21 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure but all high pressure is to the south and winds are coming in from a westerly direction. Most of the south, uh, more and south up in north, 20 clean control and the operation ranges with a trough of low over to the east coast, that looks unsettled, and 10, with a low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south, that looks quite uh, mixed as well, doesn't it? In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. Looks like we're in for change. This is the 15th of June. 22 members of the ECM ensembles building up a ridge to the south of the east with a trough shun shunted away to the north of the west. 15 with uh, high pressure more or less over the country and 14 with high pressure again over the top of the country. What is my iPhone doing? I won't. Let's turn it off. <laughs> is it Siri? Siri just started pinging into life. I don't know. Um, anyway, how strange. Right, okay. That's what I said something to it. Um, no, so let's do that again. 14 with high pressure right over the top of the country. It looks like the trend there by the middle of June is back to high pressure Again, drier, warmer weather, and that has, of course, been the trend through the last several months. We've never uh, had, uh, like, low pressure last for very long. High pressure's always been coming back. So, we'll see. Right, CFS, and then we're done. So, it means a high pressure bill of our high dominance. So, break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 31st of May to the 6th of June. But next week looks unsettled, low pressure dominating the weather in the weather in the week ahead. Week two is going to be the 7th to the 13th of June. Now, this still has low pressure, more or less in control. Heights are rising a bit to the south, but I think most of us will still be quite unsettled there through the second week of June. What about week three? Um, now, that does show a bit of change. It's the 14th to 20th of June. High pressure building to our south and the east. Lower pressures out to the northwest. That could start to bring up something warmer from the south and from the southwest. And then finally, week four 
is the 23rd, 27th of June, a high pressure band to the south and the west. So, I mean, probably bring the wind in for west and northwest, won't be heat wave, um, but it should be largely dry, particularly so for more southern and western regions. The trend for the CFS seems to be back to high pressure for the second half of the month, or oh, higher pressure, second half of the month, but uh, perhaps not turning all that hot. We'll see. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals World Beats and get them to subscribe too. If you show you everyone uh, for doing that, about 15, 16, 15, 16 subscribers gets us to 19.8k. Thanks so much, everyone. Right, tomorrow we've got a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. It's a big day as well for Gals World. We've got the summer 2025 forecast coming up for you tomorrow, which I have not uh, even recorded yet. So uh, I'm going to have a busy night when I get back from job number two tonight. Probably be up at, up at it till about 2, 3 in the morning. I don't know, sorting that out. Um, and then uh, I've got a test of all scene as well with news on the 2026 calendar. Grace me. Um, no, uh, more of that to come tomorrow. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. I'm off to do job number two. I'm sure I'll be very busy. <laughs> As it's Saturday, I'll be at work, but never mind. Um, and, you know, it's all so, um, I'll see you later on. You have a great rest of your Saturday, and bye for now.